line of duty won two national television awards on Thursday night at London's O2 Arena, and all eyes were on actor Tommy Jessup who played Terry Boyle in series 5 and 6 during the live show. While the cast and crew took to the stage to accept the gongs for returning drama and the special recognition award, Tommy, 36, sashayed his way up the steps, showing off some moves, with the crowd going wild for it. Once on stage, Tommy continued to dance, swinging his hips and striking a muscle man pose on the ground, as the rest of the cast and crew watched on delightedly. Meanwhile the other star of the series Martin Compston received a kiss from his wife Diana Flynn on stage as the hit show won the two awards. The actor, 37, who played Detective Inspector Steve Arnott, said in the winner's room afterwards, thank you to everyone who voted for us. Tommy was fantastic. I think he's going to take the award. He added, of the potential return of the series, people ask me every two minutes if there will be another season. These people love what we do so I never take it for granted. It means it's going well. It means people are so invested and the fact the audience keeps getting bigger over 10 years so who knows? Elliot Rosen played the part of Terry Boyle in series 1 but Jessup took it over in series 5 and became the first actor with Down syndrome to appear in a BBC primetime drama and TA viewers took to Twitter to comment on Tommy's show-stopping moment, with one writing, go on Terry Boyle lad hashtag NTAs, while another said, I'm loving Terry Boyle at the NTAs. Comedian Joel Domit kicked off the 2021 ceremony celebrating the return of live in-person shows amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Sure to launch the show on a light-hearted yet poignant note, Joel, 36, quipped, It's been a great year for soaps thanks to all the hand-washing. The broadcast kicked off with a VT of Joel frantically trying to find someone to open the show, with the likes of Simon Cowell, Odie Mabuse, Ant and Deck, Holly Willoughby and Mo Gilligan joining in for the skit. More videos 1 2 3 Watch video I can't hold a drumstick, Phil Collins reveals declining health Watch video who? Ma Yajama appears to mispronounce Bruce Forsyth's name Watch video viewers call out Jennifer Aniston's attitude on the one show Watch video The Matrix Resurrections lands in cinema for December 2022 Watch video stars get ready ahead of the national television awards at the O2 Watch video Adina Menzel opens up about John Travolta's Oscars name flub Watch video Art Metrano brings the funny in trailer for Police Academy 3 Watch video tensions rise at Married at First Sight Dinner Party Watch Video Fred Sarea discusses about his Olympic diver daughter at the NTA's Watch Video Loved Up. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck at Venice Film Festival Watch Video Lauren Scruggs and Jason Kennedy reveal pregnancy to famous pals Watch Video Space Images showing an enchanting night pastime lapse over Europe The task ended up being taken on by singer Harvey who was joined on stage with characters from The Masked Dancer and his former Strictly Come Dancing pro Jeanette Manrara. Joel also joked in his speech that he had to stay two meters away from Ant and Deck, not because of the pandemic, because they've asked me to, and referenced the awkwardness of watching racy drama Bridgerton with his mother. He then joked that he wouldn't be making a gag about Ricky Gervais, who was in the audience, because Hess my idol and I'm scared of him. Ricky was soon on the stage, accepting the award for his Netflix show Afterlife, which won the comedy prize. I'm really surprised by this, I thought it's not my demographic this show. It's lovely thank you, he said afterwards. This made the two-hour car journey here worth it. The cast are great but I take all the credit. More videos 1 2 3 Watch video I can't hold a drumstick, Phil Collins reveals declining health Watch video who? 
Ma Yajama appears to mispronounce Bruce Forsyth's name Watch video viewers call out Jennifer Aniston's attitude on the one show Watch video The Matrix Resurrections lands in cinema for December 2022 Watch video stars get ready ahead of the national television awards at the O2 Watch video Adina Menzel opens up about John Travolta's Oscars name flub Watch video Art Metrano brings the funny in trailer for Police Academy 3 Watch video tensions rise at married at first sight dinner party watch video Fred Sari excuses about his Olympic diver daughter at the NTA's watch video loved up. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck at Venice Film Festival watch video Lauren Scruggs and Jason Kennedy reveal pregnancy to famous pals watch video space images showing an enchanting night pastime lapse over Europe he updated those eager to know about the third series, saying, season 3 will be as close to Christmas as we can. It's the best one yet. It's nearly finished. Very pleased with it. We did it through COVID so was a double pleasure. He quipped, the dog does not die, everyone else does. He went on, I'm still surprised how well the show does around the world. It's a show about a guy who kills himself because his wife died from cancer. People who are grieving approach me on the street and say how much the show helped them. This year, more streamed shows have been nominated than ever before, with Netflix period romp Bridgerton and making the best new drama list while Afterlife and Sex Education scored slots on the comedy list. It's a sin, day and normal people joined Bridgerton on the new drama shortlist while Line of Duty. The Crown, Call the Midwife and Unforgotten made up the returning drama category. The drama performance category sees Line of Duty stars Adrian Dunbar, Martin Compston and Vicky McClure in contention for the prize, alongside Dolly Alexander for It's a Sin and David Tennant for Day. More videos 1, 2, 3 Watch video I Can't Hold a Drumstick Phil Collins reveals declining health watch video who? Ma Yajama appears to mispronounce Bruce Forsyth's name watch video viewers call out Jennifer Aniston's attitude on the one show watch video The Matrix Resurrections lands in cinema for December 2022 watch video stars get ready ahead of the national television awards at the O2 watch video Adina Menzel opens up about John Travolta's Oscars name flub watch video Art Metrano brings the funny in trailer for Police Academy 3 watch video tensions rise at married at first sight dinner party watch video Fred Sari excuses about his Olympic diver daughter at the NTA's watch video loved up. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck at Venice Film Festival watch video Lauren Scruggs and Jason Kennedy reveal pregnancy to famous pals watch video Iris Jones reveals she prefers doggy style sex with toy boy husband the NTA's have also announced a brand new category, authored documentary which sees Kate Garraway's moving feature, Kate Garraway, finding Derek nominated for its warts and all account of her husband Derek Draper's coronavirus battle. Finding Derek has been shortlisted alongside Marcus Rashford, Feeding Britain's Children, Katie Price, Harvey and Me, Rob Burra, My Year with Amandi and Roman Kemp, Our Silent Emergency. Elsewhere, The Masked Singer has been nominated for its first MTA, with the madcap singing competition facing a battle with him a celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, RuPaul's Drag Race and Strictly Come Dancing for the Talent Show Award. Soap Summerdale, Coronation Street, EastEnders and Hollyoaks are up for Best Serial Drama. Anton Deck bagged their 20th award nomination in a row for TV presenter, with Piers Morgan and this morning's Holly Willoughby and Alison Hammond also in contention as well as Bradley Walsh. A quartet of standout actors are up for serial drama performance, including Coronation Street's Molly Gallagher and Sally Carmen and EastEnders Danny Dyer not to mention Hollyoaks Billy Price. New host Joel recently admitted he is honored to have been selected to front the spectacle.
he said in a statement, It's a huge honor to be hosting the NTAs this year. It still feels like someone has made a wonderful error. I really, really love TV and can't wait to celebrate the best stuff from what's been a very weird year or so. The comedian also joked he is hoping the masked singer will be successful on the night so he can present himself with a prize. He quipped, I'm also really hoping the masked singer wins something so I can present an award to myself. That's a creative narcissist's dream. NTA's executive producer Kim Durberville added, We are so excited to be back to celebrate a remarkable TV year like no other. There is a wealth of great television to recognize and we are delighted to have Joel at the helm. With his wit and natural charisma, he'll definitely be bringing a fresh approach to this year's awards. Earlier this year, it was announced the NTAs, which usually takes place in January, had been rescheduled for September 9, due to the coronavirus pandemic. Kim said at the time, the NTAs will return to the O2 London in September to mark the UK's best, boldest and most beloved TV shows with a surprise-packed event, and we look forward to seeing you on the night for a celebration like no other.